Good morning, guys. Do y'all remember that story from world history class when um, Constantine became a Christian and had all of his soldiers be baptized? Well, do you remember what they did? They um, went into the water and were immersed, except for they would hold the hand that they, with the sword that they used to kill people out of the water. And they were saying, I'll give you everything but this the ability to kill people. And, I mean, that's kind of an extreme example, but um, I think we sometimes do that ourselves without even thinking about it. Sometimes there's that, like, subconscious, that one sin we hold on to, or um, that one part of our personality that is, um, we're just not really willing to surrender that. Or it could be bitterness. Sometimes we're bitter of against a person and sometimes we're bitter against a whole group of people sometimes we're bitter towards church people because just like Constantine got some stuff big stuff wrong we get stuff wrong too because we're human and that's not God's fault but um, I don't know it reminded me of Romans chapter 6 beginning in verse 3 when Paul says have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism we joined him in his death for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism and just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father now we also may live new life guys it's such a I believe baptism is for tactile people like me it is such a um, uh, it is such an uh, a beautiful picture of dying to yourself, of dying to your whole self, and being raised to walk a new life. And and it's like we go through the cross with Christ all the way through. We die to ourselves like he died to himself. And um, it's just a beautiful picture. And, and I don't know, maybe you haven't been baptized. Do it. It's awesome. Um, and maybe you have, but you've held something back. And it may be years ago. I don't know. I was baptized forever ago. But think about that. Is there something that I'm holding back from God? Because, guys, freedom is in surrendering it all. And that's where the joy comes. And so I don't know. I don't know where you are today. I pray that you are living a surrendered life full of joy and um, enjoying the journey, however hard the journey gets. And it does get hard. And so today, I just pray that um, you spend some time. Spend some time in the Book of Romans. It's powerful. Y'all have a great day.